Uh, hello everyone and here we go again looking back at another weekend of live PD and I think really a couple of things that we take away from Saturday night this was one of those shows that I looked up the clock about 905 when a break was taken and I thought my goodness I can't believe it's only been an hour and five minutes because it seemed as though they had been literally everywhere they were jumping from place to place and it was a faster moving show although there wasn't there, there really were not as many resolutions to things tonight. And, and that happens so often in police work that a lot of times you are in situations that are potentially scary. And we certainly did have a couple tonight. Serving warrants was one of them. That home burglary situation in Lake County would definitely have been a situation that could have gotten extremely scary. But... All we told, we just did not see anything where there was that payoff. Let's just hope for the officers and the people who are neighbors in those places. I hope that those get resolved because there's nothing any scarier than to live in a place where uh, you have something that is uncertain and it is still hanging over everyone's head. I would have to say tonight, though, that I would give the Officer of the Night Award to Susan Woodard because she was in so many places. But folks, this was just another one of those things of child neglect tonight that I have absolutely no patience with, and I do not understand people. I don't care what their backgrounds are from. I don't care how they've been raised or not been raised. To put a child in a situation like that was just absolutely inexcusable. And I'll tell you what I, what it really reminded me of. I don't know whether a lot of you remember one of the earliest episodes of Cops back in 1989. It was down in Florida, and there was an officer named Linda Canada who began to have a little bit of celebrity like our live PD cops for at least a few weeks because of the fact that she was followed, and she was really one of the first female police officers who was followed in any type of situation like this on a program of this ilk. And I think it was the last week that she was on, and there was a situation where a child had to be taken from a home that was just absolutely filthy, absolutely inexcusable in its conditions, and I got to tell you what happened in that case. It was one of the most memorable moments that I've ever had in television because Linda Canada came back to her car and just had to explode in tears because of what happened with that child. It was just, it was one of those that stayed with me to today, and I thought we were going to come close to that tonight, but I think unquestionably the fact that uh, Susan Woodard said what she did about the fact that it's the one part of police life that she absolutely hates and ticks her off because of the fact that it involves parents who just won't take responsibility for their children, not even changing the child, and then looking at Susan and saying, I do change her. I'm a mother. Demonstrate it. That's what I have to say. Demonstrate it, because you certainly didn't demonstrate it tonight. Well, I know that next week we're going to be looking for a number of interesting things, but I think we all take hats off to Chris Mastriani and Kevin Lawrence for their efforts these last two nights. You know, it has to be a little scary when you suddenly are thrust from being a police officer in a city that's one of the, well, the state capital of, of South Carolina. But that's what your daily work is, and then suddenly you are this celebrity, and now you're being brought in as an analyst on a show like Live PD. It can be a little bit scary when that's not what you're accustomed to, but I thought they both handled themselves extremely well all weekend. Well, yeah, I know we'll see some tweets saying, oh my goodness, can I wait for another six nights? Well, there's one thing about it, we have to. So I look forward to being online tweeting with you next weekend and maybe a little bit during the week. It's been fun, and I'll see you next weekend. This is Steve Beverly saying, watch Live PD again next week.